QR codes can be created for reminders, contact information, website addresses, and other communications. In a classroom setting, teachers can implement QR codes into various lessons in order to engage their students. For instance, I created a timed QR code scavenger hunt that is deployed during the first few days of school as a way for students to learn the layout of the school, where specific locations and classrooms are. What's great about this is that it was the, the entire activity was done using the iPads. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to use QR codes to do a little scavenger hunt around the building. Now, if you remember on Friday, we took the tour of the building and you guys took notes. I don't want you to take your notebooks out because we're not going to actually use them. And I'll explain why and the method behind the madness of having you take notes but not allowed to use them to answer the questions on the actual assignment. Okay, so what's going to happen is we have these spread out around the building. So if you don't mind coming up, and can you please serve as our system there and what's going to happen is I have installed uh, an application called scan that's going to allow you guys to scan the QR code now I used a different application called crafter uh, to actually create the QR codes and that was an app that doesn't just scan it allows you to actually produce them so there's two types of different apps this one happens to be free and that's why we installed it on this because that's all you need to do is scan so what's going to happen is you go into the app you're just going to align and you heard the beep so you're just going to line it up so you show a picture of it, and it says this is where all the servers are stored. So what's going to happen is you're going to come out of the scan application, you're going to go into the photo application, which allows you to take a picture called camera, and then let's just say this happens to be the server room, I would snap that picture. Somewhere in the vicinity of where you took that picture is going to be another QR code. So now your job is to find that other QR code, find the location that the hint is there, and then take a picture of that. When you come back, you're all gonna be asked to show us the pictures of each of the locations. Now, here's what's important. If I was to take a picture of this location, and I actually took a picture of the lockers, and that is not, that is not the server room, but that picture actually happens to answer another question, what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose the point for the question for the server room, and that picture can no longer be used. You're only allowed to use each picture once, okay? So that means you may have lost points not only on the one that you got wrong, but you're also gonna lose points on that other one, so you gotta be real clear of what pictures you show, okay? Any questions? Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna give each one of you uh, an iPad for each group, and everybody just come up, and let's just try it once as a group. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, are there any questions? No? Okay, at this point what you're going to do, you have exactly 20 minutes, 20 minutes from right now to go ahead and do this activity. The group that comes back first will receive five points since we have five groups. The group that comes back second receives four points. The group that comes back third receives three points. The group that comes back fourth receives two points and the group that comes back fifth receives one point. Okay, any questions? All right, go. This activity is not only a great way for students to familiarize themselves with the school, but also learn how to communicate, work together in a group, and develop time management skills. By using the iPads, the students are able to utilize the latest technology to collaborate with each other, while at the same time learn important interpersonal skills. Thank you.